something that happened in college because uh, I, I just want I just want you to hear me when he's truly pursuing Jesus yes. that's a turn off mm -hmm. like I, I'll never forget I was at Baptist student ministry and they were having like cookies one day I was in college <laughs> and there was this one girl she was kind of eyeing me and I walked up and uh, I wanted seconds I said yeah can I get some cookies she said if you take me to homecoming I'll give you all the cookies you want and immediately in my mind, I was like, okay, I ain't, I'm not talking to her anymore. I don't want the cookies. No, thanks. I don't like, want those cookies. <laughs> so, I, and she was an attractive girl, but in my mind, I heard mm -hmm. she's going to activate the war you're trying to defeat right now. Yes. Because I, I was trying to purify myself. Yes. And so um, yes. I, I just don't want ladies to mislabel it. Uh, this is what brothers have said. Uh, in our small groups, I'm learning how to pursue godly. I'm yes. not passive. Mm -hmm. I just yes. know how I used to pursue. Yes. So mm -hmm. now I, I'm looking at you not because I'm afraid, but I'm trying to see fruit, number one. Right. And number two, I'm trying to detox from how I used to do yes. when I would see a show, when I would see a woman of God. <laughs> so sometimes it, it, yeah, he it's, he's, he's, he's not right. passive, he's observing. Yes. <laughs> because good. wives, you observe. Mm -hmm. Freaks, you pursue quickly. Yes. Okay? Repeat that, that, that one. Just repeat that. Repeat wives, you observe. Yeah. Freaks, you pursue quickly. Yeah. I can see if you're a freak. Oh, yeah. she down for whatever. It, I'll take all the invitations and then go ghost on you. That's how a lot of... All right, what do you think about what this young man said? Well, you know, first of all, I said when I first heard the whole cookies things, it would have been different if she was selling, um, if she was selling makeup. It wouldn't make sense if she was selling I, Right, but that's what I'm saying. She was selling cookies. She necessarily might not have been offering up her cookies. She might have really thought, I don't have a date for the homecoming. If you go to the homecoming with me, you can have these free cookies on the table, sure, no matter, no, have as many as you want. No, there's only two options. Either she was talking about her cookies, or she was just saying, I'll make you more cookies if you, if you want. I think that's all she meant. That's what I meant. It's possible. That's what but I we think. weren't there. She could have said it in a very flirty way. That She's probably sitting around watching this like, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Why would he go up and say that? And I know that feeling. I've, I've had that person that I didn't think was listening to the show call me back and be like, why would you share that information on the show? Like, okay, oh, but snap. what do you think Why about the rest? I think show? you got hung up on the cookies. What, what, uh, what about the rest of it? Now the rest of it, <laughs> the rest of it was um, was uh, yeah, that was a. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I would say maybe he he judged that situation too quickly. You still hung up on the cookies? No, nah, because he said she was attractive, mm -hmm. right? So in his mind, he's like, "You're activating the war that I'm I'm trying to defeat." Right, what was activating the war? He he felt that if she was really talking about her cookies and not the cookies, mm -hmm. that she would be a temptation for him when he was trying yeah. to be pure. You know, th there's yeah. people you probably come across when you were single, sure. Where it's like this person is not a potential partner for me. They are just they want what I'm trying not yeah. to give. Yeah. That's really all they want. Yeah. So stay away. That's all he's saying. Yeah, and I, but I would say this too. Just this is total transparency. Um, as a as a virgin, I just used it as a form of flattery. That was it. Mm -hmm. I was flattered by it. <coughs> I didn't want to. I mean, I I did date the 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 loose girls or whatever. Um, but I was just flattered that they were interested in me. You know, because mm -hmm. here's the thing. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I was very insecure in high school. I was very insecure in high school. In high school, I had acne, glasses, and braces. Right, and I was really really skinny. And when I got to college, my first year of college, my first week of college, the acne was gone, the braces were gone, and I was wearing contacts. I felt real good. I felt real good. I, I went to a college where the ratio was 25 to 1. So I got a lot of attention, and it was flattering. You said the transformation. Mm -hmm. The transformation. You got a tra yeah. Yeah, transformation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it was my ugly duckling phase. I went through that and I kind of came out of that and I felt good about it. So I got a lot of attention. Um, and that was the thing, though. It was just it was flattery. It was it was like, this makes me feel good. You know, this makes me feel better. So I wouldn't necessarily say that <coughs> the girls that that I entertained that were like that were bad in character and that's all they wanted. They needed somebody to show them a different side like i remember one young lady saying like i've never had a study partner in my dorm room that just wanted to study 
this is kind of cool. And I was like, all right, cool. Showed her something new. She had she had distrust in men, but then all of a sudden she was able to trust again. And you set her up for failure. Um, set her up for failure. Because the next one probably didn't do that. Probably not. Um, <laughs> so At least she knew it was possible. This is why I'm saying you're hung up on the cookies, because this clip had nothing to do with the cookies. The point of the reason I that did. this... just a clip. No. The <laughs> reason this clip was submitted was because at the end he said... Guys are not passive; they're watching to see if you are. Oh, but a I addressed that on the call, and I said that's <laughs> we're on not the show now. We got to do that part. That's not necessarily true. <laughs> you got hung up on the cookies. So, what do you think about that? Because the the allegation is that men like us were passive. So these young ladies are out here, and they're like, "Why doesn't he approach me?" Why? No, that is absolutely true. We were passive. We were passive. So you disagree with him? I disagree with him. Yeah. Um, it's cool if you want to tell yourself that but deep down there's a fear i mean any man in this chat tell me i'm wrong but there's a there's a fear about being rejected by the woman and woman of god who you've been seeing at church for a couple of sundays now and you go up and you introduce yourself getting rejected that way feels totally different than getting rejected <coughs> at the mall okay so there's young ladies out there yeah they're like i'm waiting on my husband i'm doing everything god wants me to do there are young men that I see that are living that life, but they won't come up to me. You're saying they're not coming up, not because of what he said. What he said was they're evaluating. They're trying not to be like they were where they were just used to holler at girls. They're trying to evaluate, be cautious and 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 make sure that you are a woman of God. You're saying they're not doing that. You're saying they're scared. If you're evaluating her, you're evaluating just her looks. If you're not talking no, no, to her, not, no. if, not if they're at your church, you can see who, who what ministry she's in. You can see how she talks to other people. You can evaluate it's a people. Weird. <laughs> you no, just not. standing back, listening and conversation. No, no, you just in in passing. You can see, oh, that that young lady is well, she okay, serving in the part. youth ministry? That's you know what I mean? I still feel like there's got to be some type of uh, interaction in the in your um, pursuit. Right, but but what what they're saying is these men are not that's, coming and up that's to why, us. That's why. what I'm saying. I did not approach my wife. I, I knew who my wife was before I met her, but I was afraid. You were afraid. Yeah, I was afraid. What, I'm going to go up to her and all of a sudden just get rejected in front of everybody? And then not be to able to in front of and not be able to work my way through the rest of the church. <laughs> just kidding. I wanted to just draw some humor, humor in there. No, but I mean that was seriously he's not, like he's not kidding. Ser- no, I'm saying <laughs> everybody knows I'm joking with that statement. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I went to a church where the 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 uh, church was what forty thousand members, and out of that 40,000, I've been there for, t- I was there for 15 years before I met my wife. So I only talked to two different people and my wife was one of them. Mm-hmm. So no, I wasn't working my way through the church. I was being for real, but I was terrified. I was terrified of that. Joseph King said he got rejected in middle school, been passive ever since. Thank God my wife was more aggressive. That's him? Joseph King says that. And the same thing. My wife came into a conversation where I was talking. Yeah. And she inserted herself in the conversation. And that gave you permission to talk to her? No, it didn't. It gave me you permission. You still didn't to, talk to her? I did. I talked well, to her. That's what I'm saying. She did that so that you could start talking to I her. I answered her question. Yeah. that's. But the- I did not I did not pursue any type of like other situation until social media happened. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. The point is she she presented herself to you. That gave you the confidence to actually talk to her. And then things led on from there. I turned to her and she says, my name is, La-. she's like, oh, hi, my name is Latoya. Nice to meet you. And I said, yeah, I know who you are. And she's like, oh, you do? And I said, yeah, I saw you in the youth ministry, blah, 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 that sort of thing. Right. But in that moment, I didn't think this conversation is going good. Let me ask for her number. I was it like, doesn't nah, matter. The, that. the point is the conversation was started and she helped you. You didn't just holler at oh, her. Oh, absolutely. She yeah. You. She had to help me. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean. I'll be single to this day if she didn't help me. <laughs> um, but, but the reason being is that, and she helped me a lot more than she thought because I went on Facebook and I, I gave her a friend request. And what she did was she made a comment that made me think, hmm, okay, now it's okay to ask for the number. And so when I asked for the number, I was still in that process of, do I give her a call when did she want me to call her? Because I was always told, you know, mm-hmm. I make I get a phone number and I'm calling the next day and that's not right. I was like, whatever. But she was like, hey, here's my number. I'll be up for a couple of more hours. That man called you. today. Yes. 
Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if everybody's heard this story, but me and my wife, we talked on the phone for eight hours that day. Mm -hmm. And that's the night I knew she was my wife. I knew at that point. And then the next week, she was your wife. Yeah, she was. (laughs) She was the next week. Yeah. Um, But anyway, it was was super fast. It was super fast. Um, But but why didn't you, you you said you knew she was. Yeah. Why didn't you go holler at her before that day? I was afraid. I was afraid. So are you, is your recommendation to these young ladies who are asking, so my wife was out of my league. Okay. I could, I, but see, that's because of the insecure guy in high school. I never got over that. So, But my point is, for the young ladies that mm-hmm. are like, he's not talking to me, he's not approaching me, is your recommendation, you need to help him? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you need to, you need to make it obvious. Alfie made it obvious, and we had to tell you, <laughs> bro, bro, wake up. Alfie made it obvious, okay. right? So... It was like you would come back and say to us, well, she said this or she thought that or she did this. Uh-huh. And we were like, no, that's a sign. I remember being on three way with you. Yeah. That's a sign. Yeah. So she made it obvious. Uh-huh. Young ladies can make it obvious, but they don't have to be. Don't throw yourself. Aggressive. Right. <sighs> Let's go, Jay. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> no, because if you sit back and you look at the ratio of men to women in the church, and oh, if all the thing. women are like trying to shoot their shots to the one guy, then he may not want them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He may be looking for somebody else. So that yeah, that would be very bad. awkward if you are a single guy in church and all the women are just, just like making it obvious. Yeah, to you. <laughs> like throwing shots. Like, at man, you. this no, is a thirsty but, church. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't even know. Okay, that that is the issue. That mm-hmm. is definitely the issue because the ratio is so bad. Like we were a member of our team told us they went to a conference where it was 226 women mm-hmm. and six guys. Yeah. Boy, that's a room. <laughs> that's a room. Yeah. So I, I think room. I think to Jerry's I think to Jerry's point is um, there's an art to making it obvious. You mm-hmm. don't you don't mm-hmm. flirt with the guy. You just you just you can you can create meetings. You like, like your wife create created meetings. a meeting. Yeah. Right. She I, I don't know what she I wasn't there, but well she didn't have to like be like <laughs> you know she didn't all do that, that kind of stuff. She didn't just do that. create the meeting. And then right. if he's interested, it's up to him. She was coming over to talk to her friend that I was already in conversation with. Mm-hmm. So she stood by quietly and waited on us to finish. But then I was just like, yeah, I just started my master's program. And she was like, oh, what master's program are you in? I'm in a, I'm in a master's program, too. Yeah. And then I was like, you know, I'm in business administration. And she was like, oh, OK, cool. What school? So she kind of like yeah, just got made, the conversation going. And then she was like, by the way, my name is Latoya. And I said, yeah, I know who you are. Yeah, there's ways to, without looking like you're thirsty, create opportunities for yourself. There's definitely ways but to that. But yeah. remember... I do think he's right about one thing. Yeah. There are guys who are who are men of God who are watching Absolutely. to see. Absolutely. Are you presenting yourselves mm-hmm. to every Negro that you see? Yeah. Because then that would make me think that you're not necessarily looking for me. You're looking for a, a guy. I'm not a guy. I'm Sean. Yeah. I want to know that you saw something special about me. Not that you just want a dude. So you just present, 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 present. Oh, okay. You? Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't want that. You see what I'm saying? But I don't know any guys where that's their story. Every every guy I know, every guy I know, met their wife through some sort of has admitted to me that they were inf- afraid of some sort, or they were unsure in a way. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So they were unsure and needed some extra help. It wasn't right. But if you if you're if there's a young lady that you were looking at like yeah. this, I, I I like how they are. Or they're beautiful. But then yeah. you see them flirt with this dude at church and that dude at church and then that one at church and then that one. And then they get to you and then they do, they do the next one and then the next one. You're going to be like, oh, I feel special. I'm going to go talk to her. No, but I've never seen that happen. So that's what I say. Like, but I mean, even it's using, hard to think about that. Even using this scenario that we just used. And if you go back to the last subject that we talked about, say he was the choir leader and he's just so he was so used to just people just coming on to him. You know, and then that was probably a trigger for him for her to be able to say something like, You can have my cookies. And, you know, if you carry me to homecoming, you can have my cookies. So that was probably like, and if, if he's trying to work on himself. He's trying to be a better man and mm-hmm. not just to sleep with everybody in the church. <clears throat> that was too aggressive. Then, yeah, that was too aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think that's the cookie she was referring to. 
I Everybody I, disagrees with you. Yeah. I don't think so. But Everybody y'all said on the call, like there was people on the call that said I didn't, I didn't think that at first either. It's possible. I mean, it was but probably we the there. way that she came across and said it too. But yeah, you know, you on the call saying yeah, that. Right? But and you, you, you yeah. got to know what cookies means. Yeah, you, you definitely know what yeah, cookies mean. Yeah. She at least should have been like, "That's not what I don't right, eat." Right, you know, right, you got to right, clean right. it up. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. come on, you got to clean that up. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine that that was taken out of context i think i think there would have been unless he didn't tell us the full story of what she said or how she said or if he doesn't remember clearly how she said it um because i would imagine if it was that way it would have been like you can have this cookie you know what i'm saying like to me it would have been a little bit more (laughs) obvious than uh, these are there's chocolate chip cookies there's sugar cookies <laughs> there's red velvet cookies there's you think you about know this all these cookies on yeah. the table she's selling cookies I, you're saying that could have been his wife and he passed up a good thing it could have been but i mean i don't know the lord would allow you to pass pass on your wife if that's who you meant for you to have right. but what i'm saying was he might have misjudged this situation. She's selling cookies, y'all. She's selling <laughs> cookies. And he didn't say whether or not it was the church. He didn't say whether or not it was school. I'm assuming it was school if it was homecoming, right? If it's college, it's a it's a fundraiser, right? Uh, it's a whole bunch of different things that this could have been. That's why I'm just like, bro. You can have cookie you can have my cookies whenever you want. That's what's not, not what you said. <laughs> it was something like that's that. not. You can have all the cookies you want. That's what it meant. Meaning, to him. you can have meaning, all the cookies. Meaning, you, want. you take me to homecoming, and I'm not charging you for these cookies that's on the table. Mm, that's what it meant to him. So now you see how naive me and Ryan were <laughs> growing up, and that why we oh, needed yeah. so much help. Because oh, you yeah. you could have said that to us, and we would have been like, "No, she's just talking about cookies." Let me what tell you, she don't like me. Yeah. You, we no. needed to be convinced. <laughs> Let me tell you how many conversations I've had after the fact where people were like, "That girl was hitting on you," and I'm like, "Well, I, she, she was." I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. So yeah, <laughs> completely missed it. I had a lot of, and then it's funny because Sean would always tell me, "You got a lot of inappropriate relationships with women," <laughs> and I'd be like, "They're my fr- how? With, like, they're my y- friends." Y- uh, you're they're your friend you are not yeah. their friend <laughs> that's that's the truth <laughs> yeah 